During the George Floyd protests of 2020, many people called for the defunding of traditional police. That didn't happen for the most part. But almost three years on, some police departments are shrinking anyway, some tasks are being handed over to civilians, and as we go into this conversation, police officers are on trial, charged in relation to civilian deaths in three separate states. So what has changed and what hasn't? In her latest book, today's guest encourages would-be reformers and abolitionists to look at things up close. In 2020, a huge wave rose behind a national rallying cry for change. That wave broke and crashed, it's fair to say. But in the tumult that followed, the work didn't stop. Did it necessarily take the form of mass action, legislation, elections, and power shift? Not quite, but something emerged, is emerging still. 